The Chinese government has come out firing at Europe. They're saying this new report, it's stacking everything against Chinese automakers. Basically, it's unfair. They've already come up with a conclusion before they even began this report. And the Chinese government says, you know what? It's all basically rigged. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Now, reports have emerged that BYD has received over the last couple of years around about 3.7, 3.6 billion US dollars from the Chinese government as direct subsidies. That's quite a lot of money. It does kind of explain how BYD have been able to expand at the fastest pace in the history of the automotive industry, which they have been doing. Uh, look at BYD's sales. Like two years, within two years, they've gone from selling around 400,000 cars per year to around 3 million cars per year. It's really never been done before. So that does explain that. BYD have not responded to those reports. That would suggest that there's possibly some truth to them. Is this a big deal though? Does this even matter? I mean, car manufacturers get subsidies all the time. Well, here's the thing. Europe are saying that they are doing this. Basically, the Chinese government is giving money to automakers like MG and BYD and other car manufacturers in China. They're saying that the purpose of these subsidies is to expand outside of China. So they're only receiving these subsidies on the condition that they expand into Europe, that they expand into uh, Central and South America, they expand into Southeast Asia. That's what it's for. It's not for you know making more electric cars and competing in the bloodbath of car sales in China. However, the Chinese industry body has fired back. They're saying that this whole thing is a stitch up job. And this is coming as the findings of the European Union's investigation into China's EV imports into Europe. They're saying those findings are distorted and unobjective. Now, the, the thing about all of this is it does make China look bad. You have to admit it does. And why, do I, why I say that is this. The Chinese government has tried to take the US government to the court of arbitration, right? The global court saying it is, it is rigging the American automotive industry at the unfair. It's being unfair to China. They're saying that basically the Chinese government is saying that they are using illegal practices of subsidizing EVs in America or EV production in America. The irony is that it appears as though the Chinese government are doing exactly the same thing. So a lot of people feel like, you know, pot, kettle, black, that there's a bit of hypocrisy going on here. The European Union's investigation into electric vehicles is stacked against Chinese manufacturers, not transparent and in violation of global trading rules, even before its outcome is known, says the Chinese industry body. The European Commission launched an investigation last September into whether to impose punitive tariffs to protect European Union producers against cheap Chinese electric vehicle imports that it says are benefiting from state subsidies. What that commission has found is that there are direct payments being made into Chinese automakers' bank accounts for each vehicle they sell outside of China. So it didn't say that whether or not it's outside of Europe, but they do, well, they believe they know for sure that when, for example, a Chinese EV maker sells a vehicle in Europe, it gets a direct payment into its bank account immediately. China has not responded to those claims. Shi Yonghong, Vice President for the China Chamber of Commerce of Import and Export of Machinery and Electronic Products, said he was concerned the findings would be distorted and unobjective, but he wasn't willing to respond to the claims made by Europe so far. That is a bit concerning that he wasn't willing to respond to that. You would think, right, that if the European Union was saying, you guys are doing this, um, we believe that this is clearly unfair practice. The Chinese government would respond and say, no, we're not doing that. But they haven't responded. That is my concern that um, if they haven't responded, doesn't mean that it's actually true. What do you guys think? Let me know what you think. The CCCME, which is basically the Chinese automotive industry government body, represents 12 Chinese EV producers in the case and had a hearing with the European Commission on Thursday it said its prime concern was over the EU's executive choice of companies to sample. Um, so they're saying the European Union shouldn't have chosen 12 companies to sample. They should have chosen other companies. I don't know. I mean, I'm confused. Which are the companies that the European Union are examining? Well, they've chosen the ones that are selling cars into Europe. So it kind of does make sense. BYD, Geely, who own Volvo and Polestar, and Sakes MG are four of the car makers that the European Union has been looking at. Now, they did initially look into Tesla, 
but it was found, they said they found that Tesla was not receiving any subsidies from the Chinese government. However, it doesn't include the top exporters from China to Europe. Those include Tesla and Dacia. Now, realistically, um, the reason it doesn't include Tesla is because the, the European Union did actually look into Tesla and they said they found that Tesla was not receiving any subsidies. Yong Hong said that the commission had departed from its principle of selecting the largest exporters and seemed to have purposely selected three Chinese owned producers to reach predetermined findings of subsidization. This biased sample selection has tainted the entire investigatory process, he said. Now, he sounded pretty angry when he said this, but this biased sample selection, um, he doesn't have a problem with the findings. He has a problem with the manufacturers that the European Union have chosen to look at. That's a little bit damning, in my opinion. Now, rather than saying, you know what, they're, they're not true, we are not doing this, uh, they're saying you shouldn't have looked into these manufacturers. What? I, I don't understand it. I, I think I think this guy doesn't understand how 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 his comments are going to look. Yong Hong said the investigation lacked transparency, with EU manufacturers granted anonymity and the EU providing inadequate data, such as on the assessment of injury to EU industry. So basically, he's saying the Chinese automotive industry is saying the EU should be providing them with um, statistical evidence of how subsidies from China are damaging Europe. And if it's not doing that, then this is an unfair investigation. I don't know. I don't think that's really relevant. I'm, I'm kind of confused. Anyway, Chinese manufacturers are not harming EU automakers, he said. They concentrated on different market segments than EU counterparts. The EU industry had maintained a high market share and the key importers from China were the EU producers themselves said Yong Hong. Basically, China is saying Chinese EVs are, they are doing well in Europe, but only the ones made by European automakers and by Tesla. The rest of them uh, weren't that relevant. Well, he'd be right, actually. This is true so far. Based on sales numbers at the moment, that's actually technically correct. Uh, BYD has not sold many vehicles in Europe. He added that several EU manufacturers had expressed opposition to the investigation. BMW and Mercedes said the probe will do more harm than good, but they have a vested interest because um, the majority of their profits come from China. So Mercedes-Benz and BMW don't want to lose that gravy train, of course. Yong Hong said the case was a perfect example of the EU's double standards, given that the EU was not taking any action against the near $400 billion of subsidies of the US Inflation Reduction Act and was itself pumping billions of euros into battery and EV production. That's probably true. The $400 billion claim is categorically not true. Uh, $400 billion of subsidies into um, the Inflation Reduction Act. That may happen, but that's not for cars. The majority of that is not going into EVs. There's nowhere near $400 billion going into EVs being manufactured in the US. And Tesla certainly is receiving nothing. I mean, if Tesla had received $3.6 billion over the last two years from the American government, I'm sure we'd all know about it. People would be criticizing the hell out of that. American government would be taking it on the, on the chin, but that has not happened. So it's not really an apples to apples comparison. The European Commission said the investigation and its findings would fully respect EU and internal international obligations. Europe plays by the rules within its borders and globally, it said. This anti-subsidy investigation is thorough, fair, and fact-based. To be fair on Europe, it hasn't really said much about this so far. It hasn't come out and said, you know what, China's big, bad, evil bully. They're trying to take over our automotive industry. They haven't said that yet. They're still investigating. So China is maybe jumping the gun here, being a bit um, you know, reactionary to this. I would say the better thing to do would be to let the report play out, discuss this internally with Europe, don't play this out in the media. Don't play this out in public. It's making it look bad. If you're reacting this way, well, when there's smoke, there's often fire. Thanks for watching.